and take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Oh, fine eye, mister. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak me, English? Me, uh, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. But I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Must have come here myself. The longer I look, the madder I get. Speak English. There'll be something somewhere.
look good? Not good yet. about cover things. It's me, Arthur. Good. You're back in one piece. Miss Karen, how you getting up? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. Okay, but I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. 
This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Yeah, okay, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Don't be scared of him. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have... ...worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and... Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, that's it, boy. Hey, partner. Stables are just up ahead. Good to see you back. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. You won't know till you get in the saddle. Let's go, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's Watch code, it. and he knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. All right, girl. <laughs> I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't? What do you... Is anything too powerful on a small animal like that? Just ruin the meat. Best thing's... Bow or a 22 caliber box. Met rifle. What? Hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Good job. 
All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. <sighs> all right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. Right there. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur, and let's... Let's get after him. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's...
tracks go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. Well, take a look, then. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> You know what, Arthur Morgan, I'm a little old and... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Yep. Good morning, 
Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Good morning. You'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. What's with the oh. holler? I got bit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I need medicine. Or a siphon. Oh. 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 oh, come on. I'm gonna die if you don't help me. Oh. Uh. The poison's all inside me. I can feel it. Oh. Oh. Oh, help me. Oh, God. Wait. Please help me. Hey, you're okay, girl. Mr. Downs! <laughs> Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs!
Uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Take it easy. How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get mad. to trouble. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back. All right, girl.
damn it. Okay, girl. <laughs> Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic! Stop it, Arthur! <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just...
calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. Father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on. That ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Come on, the girl. <laughs> 